A portion of this video is sponsored by Sweetwater Sound. I really want to give you guys the most accurate, real impression of what this festival is really like. Just walk past the main gate, you can see in the background there. I feel like everyone's a stranger. Small talk with your narcissistic. What band are we going to check out first? Under Oath on the pink stage. Reminiscent of Warp Tour. Definitely missed that festival, but oh my god, it feels like we're back here today at when we were young. <laughs> you're allowed to bring in so that there's no disappointments or like no friction. The only way to bring anything into this event was in a clear plastic bag, which we bought specifically for when we were young. Inside that bag, you could bring this short list of approved items, including water bottles if they were clear plastic. Wyatt and I both use metal water bottles, so we ended up bringing in some store-bought ones and refilling those. Pretty much anything else you can think of could not be brought into when we were young. That means no... <sighs> Aerosol sunscreen, noisemakers, skateboards, blankets, towels, chairs, coolers, chain wallets, flags, flyers, samples, glow sticks, hammocks, hula hoops, segways, instruments, laser pointers, mesh bags, misters, markers, stuffed animals, umbrellas, wagons, or walkie talkies. So today's video is going to be entirely filmed on iPhone. They don't allow GoPros, basically any camera. Another really cool thing to mention about the festival is that there's actually re-entry, which blew my mind. <laughs> One thing we were told was that the food lines were gonna be stupid long and it's not even worth it because you're gonna miss bands. Lines here for food, surprisingly short for a festival. We're gonna grab some empanadas because they have a good vegan option and they have truffle french fries. Thanks for coming. Yeah. Got some hot sauce for it? I already ate all of mine. So good. everybody to stick their finger down their throat and throw up on each other. I've never seen that man live before, but he's like so vulgar. <laughs> Sun's setting now. It was like 25 to like 30 degrees in the sun. No, it's supposed to drop to like 8 degrees after sunset, which made planning an outfit really difficult. Basically, everybody when we came in had um, sweaters tied around their waist because everybody knows you need it for later. <laughs> Our relationship started with through music, and in some ways, it's how our relationship, our 
dating relationship will end because it's like we're sort of leaving the scene behind and we're transitioning into marriage so it's like we're leaving behind um, the younger us for like the older newer us Marshall's White was absolutely incredible. Marshall's White was dope. Played nothing even like medium level old. Only new stuff, but it was sick. We're gonna get churros, then head over to the main stage, and on the way, try and catch a bit of Palais Royale set. It's chilly out. My legs are cold. Can you feel my heart? out now the festival is just about to end we left a little bit early because wanted to beat the rush and also we're just so beat ready to go home <laughs> uh, it was awesome i actually really enjoyed it and um as somebody who is extremely frugal i actually think this was 100 percent worth it in closing we felt super lucky to attend the october 29th date of this festival as it definitely seems to have been the date that went off without a hitch. We had a ton of fun at when we were young and were impressed by how well everything ran. Lines were all minimal, bands played exactly when they were scheduled to, and the decorations everywhere really made it an immersive experience. Bonus points for the several different vegan food options. All in all, we would definitely attend when we were young again. Now, a quick word from our sponsor, Sweetwater Sound. Sweetwater is my go-to website for purchasing music gear. Wyatt and I have made some changes in our lives and in the content we produce but we're still shopping at Sweetwater. That's because not only is Sweetwater a go-to for musicians, but you can also get great deals and expert advice on tools for content creation as well. Like this Rode VideoMic Pro I recently picked up to improve my camera's audio. And then of course, Sweetwater Candy! This is what our camera sounds like with no external microphone on a busy street in Mexico. This is what our camera sounds like using the Rode VideoMic Pro Plus. We are on a busy street in Mexico at rush hour. GoPro, Rode, even Apple computers. So many great brands, so many great products to bring your ideas to life. Finance new gear you need in a pinch or get one-on-one -on -one customer support with the best customer support team in the business. Use the link in the description to check out Sweetwater's content creation section. Las 
Vegas airport and we are headed to Mexico City. Lindsay needs socks and we found these. That's pretty cute. I think that's the one. Either that or this donut. We just got out the Uber and walked into our hotel for the night here in Mexico City. We're in our room. There's me. Hello, me. And this is basically the space. This week we've been to three separate countries. So we're very exhausted. Lindsay's feeling a little sick, a little worn out. We're going to go downstairs. The restaurant is still open, get some food, and then come back and crash because we have another travel day ahead of us tomorrow. Isn't there a dance for this? Yeah, totally. What's the dance? I can't remember. I don't know. Chili Kilis with egg and a little pizza. It's tortillas, a green sort of chili sauce, sour cream, cheese, and egg. Waking up in Mexico City. We've got like 45 minutes to get to the airport and then we're gonna board a plane to take us to Puerto Vallarta. The flight was supposed to leave 10 minutes ago. The guy who spoke English left, <laughs> and I asked the lady, I said, Puerto Vallarta, and she said, late. And I said, just wait. She said, mm-hmm. <laughs> oh, no. The plane, all the passengers just got off, and now we're waiting to get on. So I guess they found something wrong with our plane, and they told us that it's gonna be at least another hour. They have to either get a new plane, or move us to a new gate. I am doing fine, but Lindsay's like They got us a new gate and a new plane. And they're boarding now. Made it after all these hours. Now we just have an hour and 20 minutes to Puerto Vallarta. And we're home free, baby. much hotter here. I've been really cold all day, so it feels good to be back in the heat. Lizzie and I aren't feeling so well in this vlog. We had the craziest flight of our lives, too. It's been a few hours, we got showered. Just arrived, our first time Uber eating in Mexico. Cause there's addresses here, unlike in Costa Rica. We at home eat burritos constantly, but we've never had a burrito in Mexico. Oh, looks like a burrito. Hot, nice and hot. Oh yeah, look at this. It's an interesting way to serve sauce. And then here, quesadilla. We got the burrito and the quesadilla mm -hmm. and some kind of sauce that came in a baggie. Yep. It's cool. It's just cheese and tortilla, you know? Yeah, can't go wrong. Did you dip it in the sauce? I'm gonna do it now. Just in case it's aggressively spicy, I'm gonna only use a little bit. Is it spicy? Oh, yep, yep, it's spicy. Mm-hmm, <laughs> it's spicy. Do you need water? Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> I should have some water, probably. You should try some. Well, that's a lot, dude. It's oh, really spicy. What are you doing? Oh my God. Is it spicy for you, even? You can tell it's spicy, right? There's some of you to it. <laughs> it's really good, though. Like, very clearly homemade. It's got, like, chunks. What do we think of a Mexican burrito? Mmm, mm, good. This is full of vegetables. Nice. Mm-hmm. Oh, it's good. This is a Coca-Cola bottle. It's got these labels that literally say excessive calories in like a warning font. And it also says right here, you shouldn't give this to children, which is so freaking cool. Kudos, Mexico. So last night after I showed you this bottle has these warning labels, Lindsay and I got into a, like a bit of an argument where I was convinced that beer was worse for you than Coca-Cola. And Lindsay was trying to tell me the other way. Lindsay was trying to like convince me that no, there's no shot. Like Coke is definitely worse than beer. After some Googling, it turns out that beer is definitely better for you. Because it's all 
of sugar and all this like fake chemical shit. Beer is just like barley hops water. Like it's so simple. <laughs> I was so convinced. No, like yeah. alcohol is a neurotoxin. There's no yeah. shot that beer. I know. You thought I was biased too because I just love beer so much. Yeah. <laughs> what is it? Uh, Nivelle de Carga. It means low level. Okay, so we should put it at what? Uh, medium, maybe auto? No, it's pretty high. Maybe yeah, maybe, pretty high. Maybe max. And then this I think means temperature. Kelly says hot and Fia's cold, so I put it at tibia. Can you just check that, that means like warm? Tibia? The inner of the two bones of the leg. Tibia, Spanish to English is just tibia. Then why the f is on this washing machine? <laughs> <No. laughs> Tell me that. Tell me that. <laughs> <laughs> what, we wash your leg bones in this washing machine? Look, Kelly, it seems hot, Frio's cold. I'm just gonna put it in the middle. I'm gonna put it fresca. Hey God, let me, let me look up fresca. It's a good drink, let I'm sure it's fine. <laughs> cold, hot, fresh, leg bone. We're gonna go fresh. <laughs> We're gonna go fresh. Okay. And then we got. <laughs> I'm sick of not having snacks in this house. So we need to go to the grocery store. How many days has it been since we arrived? Like one and a half. And how many days has it been since we had snacks? One and a half. <laughs> it's too many days. What have we been eating because we don't have groceries? Uh, Uber Eats one today. And then just chilling and watching a whack ton of Sailing the Vagabond. And that's been our Mexico experience so far. Yeah, we haven't seen anything. It's Day of the Dead. It's Day of the Dead. Well, no, yesterday was Day of the Dead. No, it's technically the official holidays yesterday and today. 